in chapter 6 structural features of rock so good evening miscellaneous types of uh, sites the various types explains about uh, some other types of holes that may be observed in the in the field are as follows monoclines it may be described as essentially is a localized warping in so which case otherwise the horizontal strata so a single bed for a limited length and attains the horizontal attitudes once again sometimes the effect of monoclinal band is so conspicuous that a great difference of elevation is induced between the same strata or either side of the band so in figure monocline and homocline homoclines a homoclines actually describe a sequence of a strata dipping in the same general directions at a uniform angles especially when such a structure is established to be limb of a major fold and anticlines or synclines of bigger magnitudes for instance will each so two homoclines one on either side of the hinge so drag folds these may be defined as minor fold minor folds developed with the body of incompetent or weaker rocks surrounded on both the side of layers of competent or stronger rocks these drive their names from cause of reasons they developed due to drag effect suffered by the soft and ductile types of materials of the incompetent rock when the surrounding competent rocks moves aspect them in opposite direction during lateral compressions of or shearing process so in figures drag fold c competent layer indicate df in the, uh, drag fold this and in means incompetent layer much important is that much important is attached to the drag fold in the interpretations of the major foldings and faulting in the area of their development it has been established that the axis of the drag folds are parallel to those of the major folds the drag folds plunge in the same manner as the major folds the layer on the upper sides of the drag folds slides away from the synclines axis thereby indicating the possible location of the synclinal axis of the major folds thank you